Hello, my fellow crafters. Um, and welcome to all of my new stubbies. Um, I hope you will enjoy my channel. Um, I have been um, <coughs> crafting a little bit. I did manage to make my um, five Christmas cards that um, I'm doing with Paige and Peggy and some other people. I think Jill is doing it. So these are my five. <clears throat> and um, I was going to do them all the same. Then I changed my mind. So um, up first I'm going to show you this card here. So this card this was a front from an old card that I had and I had actually seen this idea somewhat similar on um, Pinterest um, and so what I did was I as you can see I took and I cut a piece of pa uh, pattern paper at an angle and um, so that it kind of looked like the curtain was pulled back and you were looking out the window. I think that's the effect it was supposed to, well that's my effect it was supposed to have. And then I just put this pretty little um, um, yeah you know that 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 ribbon um, anyway and then I put this little um, uh, Well, I, I it's a um, embellishment, it's a little embellishment, and I, I got this from somebody. I just can't remember who it was. I got it from. Anyway, um, so I put this on um, that on there, and I think the card turned out really cute. I etched everything in vintage photo, and then I think I used vintage photo, and um, then this is the inside. I just put. Um, some paper to write on. Um, I might put a sentiment in there, stamp a sentiment in there. Um, I haven't quite decided yet. So that's the first card. And then the next four cards, I actually uh, did some, um, uh, what do you call that? Um, I took uh, three different colors of um, of distress inks and um, two in blue and one in purple and I did some sponging and so I sponged all the backgrounds <clears throat> this first one um, as you can tell I none of them are identical of course because you know when you sponge you can't get an identical look out of it um, but they're so pretty I love how they turned out then what I did was I took a stencil, I made a stencil with um, little tiny holes in it and I took some, um, it's the snow, the little um, bottles that you can get and I just went over it and then I let it dry so there's um, a raised uh, feel to it. And this little guy I cut out using my Cricut um, quite some time ago and um, I paper pieced him and I put him on there and then on the inside I just put um, some paper to write on and this meet me under the mistletoe came from my stash. <clears throat> this next one um, the same effect I used um, I sponged um, the color on and then I stamped um, I actually these are actually done in um, uh, embossing powder I stamped uh, them in Versamark and then in white embossing powder and then um, I did the same thing with the snow and then over here I stamped out winter wishes um, also using Versamark and then um, putting um, embossing black embossing powder on it and I just I think it turned out so cute I love how his little nose is looking up at the snow <laughs> and then I just put a uh, thing on the inside to write on the next two are pretty much the same just different in color so I used this die cut 
that I had gotten um, quite some time ago from Gina Marie. And um, I did the same thing with the backgrounds. There is snow. I don't know if you can see that. There's snow behind the trees. This is also um, a layout that I got, I saw off of uh, Pinterest. Of course, mine's, always, mine's different. Uh, you know, they always are slightly different. Um, I, but I really like how they turned out. I think they turned out really pretty. I put some red glitter paper at the top and the bottom just to strip underneath. And um, the birds are also from, um, I think they're also from Gina Marie. Um, they're birds. And then I can't remember who made this little sleigh. But I thought it turned out real pretty. And on the inside, it's just got... Um, some red and white paper and I'll probably stamp a sentiment in these as well <clears throat> um, this one I did in blue um, I did this a little bit different in the respect that I didn't darken it as much when I sponged it um, and when I put my birds on I used um, some glitter paper which was the same color as the sleigh but then I also used some, um, uh, uh, was it metallic, metallic paper, the, the shiny stuff. And then that's on the inside. So um, those are my five cards for um, this month, February. And um, I had a lot of fun making them. I really am excited about my new craft room because I'm going to be able to do a lot more um, embossing and um, doing the sponging and stuff because of um, the um, the way it might, it's going to be set up. So um, thanks everyone for watching and if you would like to join in, please join in. Um, if there's no challenge, it's um, uh, it's just a bunch of people making cards and um, you know it helps you to make increase your, your uh, supply and you don't have to worry about running out and trying to get it done in, in uh, November and uh, in December. There's also another challenge, a monthly challenge, and it is actually a challenge. There's actually a prize at the end of it, um, and that is Myra, who is Crafty Rats. Um, you are to make five tags a month, and they must be either winter or Christmas. Now, in the cards here, these are the five cards for the end of the month, and they must be Christmas. Um, now, this one uh, is the Christmas cards are always at the end of the month, the last day of the month. They also have another one where they make five cards, at, and they show those on the 15th of the month. Now, the tags can also be, they, they, only, they can be done any time during the month they can you can do the video there's no um it just has to be within that month um to count so um thanks everyone for watching and i hope you um have a great day bye